you for coming out. I'm Kale with uh, Queen City Comedy, in case you didn't know. I appreciate you being here for the debut of the Close Distance Improv Troupe. Uh, just uh, a point of order there. Leave your cameras off if you're in the Zoom. Uh, leave your microphones on. And if it becomes an issue, I will mute them. Uh, thanks for giving me an example to show. Uh, but we want to hear your uh, your laughter, so feel free to leave your mics on, and we'll uh, manage that as we get into it. Uh, super. And the best way to watch this is through gallery view. So if you want to put your Zoom on gallery view for those that are there, for those that are watching on Facebook, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, you feel free to now share the link, start a watch party, uh, invite all your friends to come and have some fun. And for everybody's benefit, uh, let's practice the chat because we're going to need some suggestions uh, from you. Give us one word of inspiration that this group right now is going to use to fuel their uh, improv, their story. So in the chat, I see already Millie Hoffman has given us apple pie. In the Facebook, give us some uh, thoughts as well. Come on, right. Alex, let's hear French bistro. <laughs> So just a little bit about this group, uh, part of Queen City Comedy. We had auditions a couple months ago, and these performers are all folks that answered the call to do global improv, to get together virtually with people from across the globe and uh, do the thing that we love the most. Uh, these folks were selected and have been working on the past month on uh, some long form improv, which is what you're going to see for you now. But Better than uh, telling you who they are, let me show you who they are. I'm going to ask each of them to uh, say hello, starting with Offer. I am Offer Shafir from Tel Aviv, Israel. The first day of the spring, of the fall, I believe. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. And Sarah. Hello, um, I'm Sarah. I'm mm -hmm. from Kent in England. Happy to be here. Thank you. And Kylie. Hello, I'm Kylie. I am from Cape Town, South Africa. And Carla. Oh, hey, Carla I'm always... Carla. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> Carla always looks surprised to see her face on the camera. She knows it's coming. It's Simone. Hi, I'm Simone and I'm from Malta in Europe, not the States. And Alex. Hey, I'm Alex. Um, I live in Glasgow in Scotland in the UK, where it's just turned four minutes past five. <laughs> Brandon. I'm Brandon from Baltimore, Maryland. Let's go O's. <laughs> Andrew. I am Andrew from Greenville, South Carolina. And Arthur. Hi. I'm Aarti from Bangalore, India, and I'm excited to be here. And Lauren. Hey, I'm Lauren from Guelph, Ontario, Canada. Great. And there's, oh, there's Carla again. Just <laughs> I want to show you that she does that every time. <laughs> All right, big round of applause for these guys. They've been uh, working so hard and they um, are tremendously talented folks. Uh, I know you're going to in, uh, enjoy this. So uh, again, if you haven't already, give us a, um, a word in the chat. If you would like, uh, share the Facebook link, uh, invite others to join. It's gonna be uh, quite a lot of fun. So I'm looking at some of the suggestions and uh, I love from, <laughs> Alex did uh, say a French speech hero. Um, but from Hazel, I see tarot cards. Your suggestion is tarot cards. Players, take it away. Tarot cards uh, reminds me of the time when um, I used to be a tour guide and um, I used to take people around Bangalore and India on walks and cycles, etc. And a lot of times uh, people from out outside of India would ask me questions that I would not have answers to. And a lot of times I would have to make up 
things uh, which were would not be entirely true. And this one incident where uh, there was a lady who was with me and we were walking and she saw someone, a palmist, uh, and, he, and there was a picture of a palm outside his door. And she was very curious and excited. And I told her, do you want to you know, get your palm read? And she was really excited. I took her inside. But I had no idea what the palmist was saying because I couldn't really <laughs> understand the language. Uh, so I just translated, and I knew she couldn't understand the language for sure. So I just translated whatever he said into whatever I thought was true. But I made sure that I only told her good things. Uh, <laughs> everything in a way that it was all good and nice and I told her about the future which I probably made up and she got all pumped and excited and she was like oh my god I'm gonna have a great future but I'm so sorry um, tourist uh, that was a lie <laughs> <laughs> um, glad you came so mm -hmm. here's the thing I left my normal pack of tarot cards in my other car, so don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I got, I got right. these playing cards. Hang on, hang on. Playing cards. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are just as good. Look, look. Okay, so tell me to stop. Okay. Uh, stop. Ooh, the two of hearts. <laughs> what? That's just a normal. No, what that means is you're going to find love soon. Okay, okay, yeah. that actually kind of makes sense. You, okay. you, you had me for a minute, but yeah, I don't see where yeah. this goes. All, all right, right, all right. Now, now tell me to stop. Uh, now. The five of clubs. <laughs> You're going to go to five clubs before you meet the one. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, I get it. Last week he told me, you know, I'd, I'd find love in a, <laughs> in a bar so i get yeah club bar i mean i mm -hmm. yeah all right all right all right back out see. andrew keep brandon whoa dude you are jacked yeah <laughs> she just got jacked <laughs> been working out working out a lot it's finally finally showing some results oh man i mean who saw that coming <sighs> well i'll tell you who didn't uh that's psychic he yeah. said I was going to lose all of my uh, body mass. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it was a really weirdly specific thing. Usually it's like, you know, your your career is looking up or like, yeah. you know, you, you'll find love. But yeah, now he's like, you're, you are going to lose every muscle in your body and be unable to move. Hey, I showed him. Well, well, well you certainly did, man. You certainly did. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed because we're, we're worried about you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad you, you're, uh, you were kind of pulling for me. Hmm. I go keep Brandon. <laughs> this is so amazing. I have never met someone at a club before. <laughs> wow. So you, is, you, you don't come here often? No. Wow. Well, I, it, it's not my first time. I, I've been here well, four times already. Wow. <laughs> Were you looking for me each time? I feel like I was for some reason. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> maybe, maybe you just tell me what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I'm just improvising. Um, <laughs> No, 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 no. So this, mm -hmm. this finger means that I should listen. Wait, I'm listening, yeah. Speaking is the work of devil. The less we speak, the more we do good. <laughs> <laughs> I, speak, I speak a lot. During life, I mean, I even speak with animals and birds and walls and sometimes with windows, closed windows. I, I, I don't know. How, can you hear me? Looks like 
the devil has resided deeply in your soul. So push it away, maybe. Um, I should get in a position somehow, maybe. Have you tried silent meditation? Oh, I have so many ideas. The best ideas come when I meditate. So I just have to share them. To you talk a lot, son. You talk yeah. a lot. Yeah. Hey, so I, I know you hired me as your, your translator so that you wouldn't have to divorce, but I, <laughs> I slightly lied on my CV, if I'm honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm... Oh, oh, it's fine. She says, it doesn't really matter. And if anything, I should get a pay rise. <laughs> انتي انتي منا لا تكون انت عشان انت فيرا تينا الورا نشتاق تايدي لا لي داسك she says yes <laughs> sorry that's actually quite hurtful شارع 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 لك she she says that she she finds your marriage laughable. Can you do me a favor? Um, oh my God, my voice has come back. <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh, wow. Can me the how to kill him? I just, I wanted to tell you, I don't think we should get that divorce, but I, I wasn't able to tell you. That's why I hired this translator. But now that I can speak, I can say from the bottom of my, my heart that you're the worst person I've ever been married to. <laughs> this is my most awkward job ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god um it, it's it's so fun it, it's so nice to finally meet you in person i mean after, after all this time i i guess this is our first date first date i mean yeah. i remember the exact day when our actual first date is but this is this is our actual first date so. first first in-person date i mean i i i was hoping i could like you know, pretend to be the tour guide and show you around, you know, the city of Boston. Yeah, yes, please do teach me things. Great, great. Well, we're, uh, you know, right here. This is this is Boston Common, you know, the, the oldest park in the country. And um, why right is it there... called Boston Common? What's common about it? Well, yeah. So um, back back in the, you know, the 1800s, uh, common was another word for um, seafood market. And you'll you'll notice the the wharf is way down there, but you know that they brought all the seafood here, so you know they they kind of called that Boston Common. Now it's just a park. That's so amazing! I love seafood markets. Yeah, yeah. That um, actually, see that um, Dunkin' Donuts right over there. Um, that that's where the Beatles were born. <laughs> they were born in a Dunkin' Donuts. Well, it wasn't a Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> then, but yeah, you know that yeah that that's Was the it Liverpool the in the. 1960s all right you got me you got me i'm just making up stuff i i don't know much about my own city and i, Wait, and I wanted to are you even you. josh <sighs> josh is my middle name <laughs> uh so i'm gonna use a suggestion in the chat is from millie she said apple pie and um it is fall or for some of us just started as offer said and people in the south in the u.s love apple picking i don't understand it there's a <laughs> lot of places nearby there's also a lot of grocery stores nearby and yet apple picking is a thing and making cider donuts and making apple pie slushies you can pretty much make apples in anything apparently so it's a thing. I still don't get it. I still get hot, sweaty, and muddy when I do it. But <laughs> if it entertains the kids and it gets them out of the house, so be it. So apple picking. And apparently, I went to a place you can use cannons now. And I hope they're using like at least the rotten apples. But you put these apples in an actual cannon, load it, and then fire to targets. Maybe it's the southern in me. Maybe it's the redneck in me. But it's, it, is, it makes it all worth it. So it's not so boring at the end of the day. Just 
picking and going. So if you haven't shot a cannon of, of apples, I highly recommend it. Maybe it's a US thing, but you know, makes us great. Whatever. Welcome to Kylie's adoption agency. So how it works is you just go into the bullpen, you pick one of the kids and you just run off with them. <laughs> Everyone got it? Can I, shoot the kids? Can I shoot the kids? Oh my gosh, they love seeing things. They haven't seen things for many days. But can so, I shoot them? Can you shoot them? Oh, shoot them. Hmm. It depends. What, are, what's, what kind of bullets are in there? BB gun. Mm -hmm. Kids, put on your pumped up kicks. They might be That's... able to run out the bullets. Oh, are we going to get parents now? I can't wait. Yeah. All right, Sorry, Sarah. Guys. Come. Not, let's, the, not let's... the best day to come. Together. But Boy, you know what you can do? One of you can shoot the cannon at the kids. They love that. What? It's like music to them. I'm going to get shot? Wait, wait. Yeah. This is, this is going to be our offspring that we're going to raise forever. We don't want them to be, you know, rotten. Right. You know that saying about a bad apple? So kids are kind of like bad apples. You put one bad kid and the rest of them just go super bad. You know what I mean? Are these yeah. bad kids? Because there's another kid ballpark down the street and we were debating which one to come to. Are these ones the rotten ones? They're very rotten. The rottenest. I... I'm right here. I, I'm going back into the bullpen. I, I don't think I want to be adopted by any of you. Okay. Sarah, let's go to the other one. <laughs> yeah, this is, I have health and safety concerns about this that are off the scale. Fair enough. I might have to close the agency. Mm -hmm. You look surprised. I didn't think you were going to be home. I just came over to like go through your personal belongings before our date. <laughs> right. Yeah, this happens to me all the time. Oh, I didn't know you were dating other stalkers. Fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it, I, no, no, don't go. Don't go. I like stalkers. I like stalkers because they're always present, you know? <laughs> Usually when you date someone, they just vanish. They don't ask your messages. They're never there. I love stalkers. They're always there. Sometimes I don't even know. I just read, you know, put out a hand and there they are. I love it. You're my favorite stalker. No, you don't know when I'm here. I mean, I've been here for the last three weeks and you had no idea. <laughs> well, do you think I've been buying all those, all that food for nothing? <laughs> I know. You see that you had some freshly baked apple pies. Yes. And apple smoothies. This has been my best date ever. And then I vanished. <laughs> you, 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 you read it? I mean, I mean, the girl, she, she ordered an apple pie, which is fine. Then she finished it and she ordered another apple pie, which is, which is okay. By the fourth apple pie, I understood how our life going to, to continue from here. I couldn't, it was too much for me. You, you are not of, of the guy that have, have many opinions, I believe, but. Has anybody ever told you you talk too much? <laughs> it happened i mean maybe 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 she ate so many apple pies to show me that she, i give her no window to say something it was I, and i missed the date and, and it was a clue for me it's, keep it's offer you have to a lot keep offer tag out laurentina Apples. Talk a lot about apples all the time. Yes. Again, about the apples, I can sense it. You need to stop talking. But, but I have so many things to say.
So, um, darling, daddy here and me, we're going our separate ways, but you can make anything out of apples. So here's a new mummy. <laughs> I think I feel sick. Hmm? I think I'm going to be sick. And here's a new daddy. Apples are good for nausea. Mm -hmm. Don't eat mummy and daddy though. No. <laughs> apples rotten. Well, so uh -oh. are we in a way. And so are you a little bit. <laughs> you do talk a lot. We're a rotten, rotten family. <laughs> Wait, does that mean that I'm going to be rotten too? No, you're, I don't already, want to... you're already are. I'm never going to get into good person university. And, mm -hmm. and I really want to go there. The apple never falls far from the tree. Uh. <laughs> uh, tag out everyone besides Kylie. You know, I've been going over your application and I, yeah. I got to say this year's crop of good person university applicants is especially <laughs> qualified. Uh-huh. I mean, so, you know, crew team. You All right. Did you get my extra application letter? It shows about all the good things that I've done. I barely speak. And um, I went to see this lady and she told me that I have a very high chance of getting in here. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, whew. It says here, you have, you're, you have rotten parents. <laughs> oh, no. Them, um, I wouldn't worry about them. I'm adopted. Okay. Okay. So do you know your, your birth parents and their status? I've never met them, but if I had to guess, I'd say wholeheartedly good Samaritans. All right, all right. Damn those kids. They are horrible. They are rotten to the core, and I'm going to, I'm going to murder one of them one day. Hold up, hold up. You have put your hand up four times in my face. That is unacceptable. <laughs> I get really emotional when we speak about murdering our kids. Well, sweetie, it was just a figure of speech. I wasn't really going to like slice their necks off or hang them. I just think about it sometimes because they are terrible. The other day you were almost holding a knife near little uh, Samuel's neck. I was almost holding that knife near his neck, but instead I had it by his heart. Does that mean you're gonna stab him in his heart? It just means I think about things that I shouldn't do when I'm educating the children. I don't know if I'm the right parent and if you are the right parent. Well, one of us is definitely wrong and I'm pretty sure it's me. Um, education <laughs> and saying the wrong thing makes me think of uh, being a teacher, <laughs> uh, which I am. Uh, so I worked for a couple of years in a private school, which is a very different thing to me because I teach older people, normally about 18 plus. Um, and I'm not necessarily used to all the things that you have to do to teach younger people. Um, and I was teaching people from, say, like age 11 upwards uh, in this very kind of upper class private school where I just kind of didn't really feel like I fitted in at all and <laughs> didn't have a very nice time there. But, you know, people are people. So I was kind of teaching away and trying my best. And we had a really odd day where all the lessons stopped <laughs> suddenly on this day. And we were given a flag to wave like a Union Jack to wave um, and told to go out onto a playing field um, and the reason was because secretly the queen and some other royals were going to drive were driving like over the school on their way to somewhere and it was kind of a top secret thing where we we're all supposed to like wave our flags for the queen um, <laughs> I'm not a royalist at all <laughs> so I wasn't massively up for doing this um, but I thought okay I'll go along with it um, I had a year eight class at the moment, so that's like 12 year olds roughly. Um, and I kind of, I always used to forget that if I say something seriously, but I'm obviously joking, unlike with 18 year olds, they won't necessarily know that you're joking. Uh, mm -hmm. So <laughs> I, I left the school soon after this. Um, 
<laughs> so I basically said to a couple of them, oh, that's a joke. When the, uh, when the plane or the helicopter flies over, everybody has to drop to the ground because if we don't <laughs> drop to the ground, we will get sucked up by the helicopter. <laughs> but I forgot to say that I was joking. <laughs> Luckily, only a couple of people kind of near me did it. Um, but yeah, as you can imagine, it, it didn't end well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look here. Um, this is going to sound a, bit, a little bit crazy, but um, the this is a top secret thing. I have to tell you, the Queen is going to drive by in a bit, and you're going to have to hold these flags in your hand as she drives by and wave them with pride. The because, Queen, because she thinks every person in the city always has a flag at all times and is that proud. Can we make that happen? Bro, that is straight up mental. <laughs> I'll do it. If my is in the duty, I'll do it. Oh, absolutely, mate. Oh, great. You know, just we, we want to put on a good image and a good show, you know, because she's so old and all, you know, just like, oh, at this point, you know, just make her happy. You're saying she thinks that everyone in the whole UK is always carrying a flag just in case she comes by. Uh, I mean, just, just in general, everyone carries a flag, not just, just when she drives by. And you said this is the flag, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I ain't even a royalist. I don't think I should do this. <laughs> hello, 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 and welcome to British TV. Now, you can all stay here. Uh, I'd like to report a very weird thing going on behind me. It seems that uh, everybody's Yay! here waiting for the Queen, Yay! and they're just waving them flags. Now, I know that you've never seen it before, and I'm here to report. This I'm here all the time. Saw so off, oh. Queen. <laughs> I, I love you said that about half Queen. <laughs> I especially love Bohemian Rhapsody. All right, I want to hear from some of the people, yeah? <laughs> well, girls, Mommy wants to have a talk with you. Now that you are 18, you are officially old people. <laughs> Your life is over. There is nothing else to look forward to. So you, my beautiful twin girls, you just need to accept that fact. But mom, I, I thought we were 12 till we died. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm the dumb twin, so please, please say it again. I thought we were 12 till we die. Yeah, exactly. Girls, you are turning 18 tomorrow, and now you are officially old. I mean, that means that you all need to think about shuffleboard and some <laughs> other activities to keep you entertained. And, you know, the male population, as we get older, gets smaller, so you better find someone soon. Do you mean they get shorter? <laughs> they do. They shrink, honey. Old no. people shrink. Yeah, Christina, you need to get your act straight, because... We are 18 now. And we we're 18, Sarah. We're 18. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, mommy, I've never been kissed. And now that I'm old, what's going to happen? Will someone kiss me? Well, first, we're going to get your hair dyed purple so that you fit in with your people. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll see what exactly uh, we can do about getting you kissed. I, I mean, I suppose we could go on a geriatricfinder.com and see if there's a man for you. <laughs> but, but, mommy, do, do I have, if I want to go to the bathroom, do I have to go by myself? Well, they have these things called Depends, which are diapers that you'll be wearing soon. Uh, I'll be honest. I feel like I've never fit in around here. Yeah, you, you haven't really, have you? <sighs> no, no. I mean, you guys are cool. You guys are all I just, know. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. You're cool. I mean, yeah. you, I should, I should have just stayed in, in the chess club, but you know, mm. I, I thought, this is this is my shot. I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a cheerleader. And you set your sights high, and you know I should say I respect that, but I don't respect it. You should have stayed in the chess club. Wow! Wow! Yeah. This is not how I thought this would would go. I, 
really feel like, you know, it, even though I didn't fit in around here that, you mm -hmm. know, I, I kind of had a rapport with you and that, you know, you kind of saw me for, for what I really am. <laughs> It's, it's really tricky for me to be honest because I am conflicted because I know that we're best friends and I care about you deeply but also I'm really really cool. <laughs> Did you Tag see? off Sarah. <laughs> Keep Brandon. Hey uh as the new kid here um I know that you're the least cool kid in school so I just figured wow. that you know you and I alliance. You you already know that? Well, it's on the book. It's on all the um, the announcement papers around the school. Oh my God! Wow. You, you, you know what? Stay away from the cheerleading you know? squad. They are jerks. <gasps> what am I gonna do with these pom poms? <sighs> Give those I made them myself. I don't want to see any more cheerleading shit anywhere. But <laughs> okay, I think we got an alliance. We can make an alliance. How? <laughs> We're going to take him down from the inside. Okay. We're already inside the building. So what do we do now? No, the like metaphorically, me like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it. So cool. we're going to, cool, 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 cool. we're going to yeah. join the cheerleading squad, which you know what? I'm going to give you back your pom poms. Thanks. That's great. Yeah. I got rid of these. Didn't bef before I had this idea. Yeah. Okay. Now. So from the inside, metaphorically speaking, right. So does right. that mean, so should we incept the English department? Because no, yes. Ah, the English department. Well, they're kind of they're they're midpoint between the chess club and the cheerleaders. So like, I don't really have any beef with them. They're, okay, all right. They're Just all right. The cheerleaders. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. We should strike. <gasps> Do you think you could make it to the top of the pyramid? Yeah, yeah. That's probably. the coolest spot of them all. I reckon the more on top we can get the better our chances of being cool i mean yeah yeah the that's that's where the chess club had our meetings so i mean i still remember how to get up there true you always lie to me I do. He just doesn't talk. <laughs> he never talks. And that's a lie. Yeah, it's true. I mean, if I say to you, yes, it's true, I lie, then what are you going to believe, right? Yeah, that's actually quite conflicting what you just said, mommy. You are... Ah, what is daddy doing? I think he's unplugging. I think he's trying to say something and I'm really scared about looking at daddy right now, mommy. Sorry, I can't trust either of us. <laughs> Look, you're gonna have to fend for yourself, okay? In this family, we, we disown each other at a certain point in time and that is clearly happening right now. Clearly. Daddy looks like he's preparing for something dangerous. But you guys lied to me, so I don't know anything. Okay, now I've removed the soundproof layer. I am going to tell you, you need to shape up, girls. <laughs> yeah, I was lying about us disowning you. I'm sorry. You are going to take a bath. Okay, I know we said that you can get sucked down the plug hole, but we, we were just kidding. Okay, you need to take a bath. Yeah, I forgot you're not 18. You don't get the jokes. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I'll turn 18 in eight years. So um, um, can I climb out of the sewage now? Yeah, yeah, sorry. That was, <laughs> you'd actually do it. Be good next time. Okay. Danny, don't put the soundproof back in. <laughs> oh, I'm just talking to you. Why does Danny do that all the time? Hello. I'm so glad you could be here for our 
at eight, but you can't be more than <laughs> fourteen and a half. Uh, I've just turned eighteen, actually. That's perfect for me. <laughs> My skin has long like leather. And it's beautiful to see somebody who can go out with me whose skin looks like milk and cotton candy. <laughs> Yes. What's your name, dear? The site didn't say. I couldn't figure out. I'm Louise. Louise? Louise. Well, Louise. Louise? I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> um, yeah, basically my mum signed me up to the, to the app um, and I'm not sure what to do next, but um, yes, me. <laughs> Louise. Don't worry. I remember in my day on dates, we used to do things like croquet and read to each other. Read I, to me, Wiz. I, I will read to you. Um, I thought we could, you know, have a drink and, and, and go for a dinner or... Oh, I can only drink through my tube, so I, I think we should stick to the book. Right. What, what would you like me to read to you? Read me something you wrote yourself. I wrote a poem. Oh, I'd love to hear it. It's to Rose. Who? Rose. <laughs> it's your name, right? Oh, yes, I am Rose. <laughs> you wrote. Right. Yeah, I'm a bit embarrassed. I don't usually read my poems to anyone. <laughs> okay. Your name is Rose, such a beautiful name. Huh? A pity it's all going down the drain. <laughs> your petals are withered, your thorns <laughs> are broken. And about your beauty, not a word be spoken. <laughs> oh my, Wiz, you're such a great poet. I know it. Good. I think this relationship is going to be something very short-lived and beautiful. <laughs> you short-lived you and beautiful me. Exactly. I'll be honest. I, I don't really get your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, I'm paid a lot of money on TV to tell these jokes. Like, I used to be famous, <laughs> and now you don't get them. I don't uh, get your haircut, Bill. Wow. Wow. I don't All get right. Your obsession for power tools, Bill. We, I get, I, you know, where's all this coming from? We've been working together for so long. Now that you've got your outside gig doing comedy, one, you don't even care about, you know, construction anymore. And frankly, your set's weird and you're getting a little full of yourself. You know what, Phil? You got this promotion. And now you're like talking down to me like you're the special one. Like, look, man, you, we started this together. It was just you and me. And like, I've supported you this whole time. I could use a little support. Like, do you know how tough open mics are? There's like 12 <laughs> people in the audience. <laughs> one of them should be you, Phil. Ah, you, <laughs> you know, I had to watch the concrete set. You weren't there. It's, it's tough. I don't get you, man. Like, we used to do everything together, and now, like, we're drifting apart. It's like we just work together and we're nothing else. Well, that's not true. We'll always have those houses we built. <laughs> yeah, but will we live in one together ever? Well, not, no, because we're, our job is to make them and then sell them <laughs> to someone else. But I always wanted to make one with you. Maybe, maybe with a, a stage in the basement. Well, Phil, I don't know what to say. Ah, <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. You know, <laughs> you know we are in this together forever. Actually, forever. 
Yeah, the, yeah. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it, and you put a ring on it. I, uh, yeah, but you know, the divorce rate's really high at the moment, isn't it? Um, <laughs> sorry, there was an issue with my um, auditory senses. Can you repeat? Was it really your auditory senses, or was the issue with your heart? Oh. It's a bit of both, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, we're stuck together forever. That's a fact. See, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. We, we rushed into this and we have nothing in common. We both have platinum studded rings. <laughs> yes, the rings are, the rings are beautiful, but you know, they were just from a catalogue. It doesn't mean that we <laughs> should really be together. We both selected daisy flowers for the wedding decor. That was common. That's true. That's true. And they do say that, don't they? If you like the same flower, live together. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to report a crime. Yes. I've recently seen two people who are stuck together who no longer want to be stuck together. And I don't know what to do about it, so I'm reporting it to you. Yeah. The marriage police. I, I just want to clarify the nature of this crime. Were they also robbing a bank or shooting children with BB guns while this occurred? No, is that relevant? So you're saying they were married and they weren't divorcing. Is that the crime? Yes, but they were they they stuck together. They said together forever, right? Mm -hmm. And now they don't want that crime. Did they drive justice. off together? We need justice. What? Did they drive off a cliff together in a car that was stolen? No, I don't think so. Did they um, rob a diner together after calling each other honey bunny? No, I don't. I don't recall that. No. no. Okay, so they, they stuck together, mm -hmm. like two See, they were like They were like this, but now they're like this. Crime. <laughs> you get me? They're not stuck together anymore. That's a crime. I don't know what happened there. Oh, hang on, dude. You, you, you mean you went to this, this guy, he told your fortune, and now you're the queen? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> You pulled the Queen of Diamonds. I don't see what's wrong with that. And now I'm the Queen of England. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm this documentary that we're making is so lifelike, and I'm so glad to be a part of it. I'm just going to get my boom mic. You guys keep talking. You gonna wave your flags at me or what? <laughs> I guess so. Thank you. Lovely, lovely. That's what I like to see. My beautiful country. <laughs> and see. Great job. Everybody, uh, come on back out. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's give it up for the debut of Close Distance, everybody. It's a thing. That <laughs> uh, in the chat, we'd love to, to hear your comments and your feedback, what you enjoyed uh, and what you, you didn't. Uh, thanks so much for being a part of this. We hope that you uh, come and follow Queen City Comedy and see all the great uh, classes and workshops and uh, events that we, we've got coming up. We've got some great things being announced uh, this week. So now is a great time to jump on board. And uh, hopefully soon we'll have a, another show with uh, these guys here. So one more time for close distance, everybody. Thank you. Ooh. All right. And uh, we'd like to apologize for all the British people that uh... sincerely apologize <laughs> to any UK person, especially Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. I wanted that to last forever. <laughs> I need my